A gas confined in a piston at a volume of three and a half cubic centimeters, a temperature of 45 degrees Celsius, and a pressure of 110,000 pascals. What will the new temperature be if the gas is compressed to a volume of two cubic centimeters at a pressure of 330 pascals, 330,000 pascals? Okay, so let's draw a picture. We've got two situations here. We've got a before and after. So let's start by drawing a picture of this situation beforehand. So in this, we've got a gas confined in a piston. So I've got a piston drawn. Okay, and this is situation one. And in situation one, we know a few things. First, we know that the volume in situation one is three and a half cubic centimeters. The temperature in situation one is 45 degrees Celsius. And the pressure in situation one is 110,000 pascals. We need to know what is the new temperature if the gas is compressed. So I've got my piston again, but it's compressed. So it's less volume now than what it had before. Okay, situation number two. The new volume in situation two is two centimeters cubed. And the new temperature is what we're trying to find. And the pressure is now 330,000 pascals. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and use the ideal gas law. Now, when we solved our equation before, we solved the ideal gas law for Boltzmann's constant. And then we realized that if the number of molecules stays the same, okay, if the number of molecules in situ one, situation one is the same as the number of molecules in situation two, then we could simplify that equation even further. And in this case, it's a piston, it's closing, nothing's escaping, so we're going to have the same number of molecules, okay, which means we have to use a little, an even simplified more simplified equation to solve. So we've got pressure 1, volume 1, over temperature 1 is equal to pressure 2, volume 2, over temperature 2. Now, pressure and volume, as long as they're in the same units in both, we're okay. All right? But temperature, because Boltzmann's constant is in Kelvin, we need to have the temperature in Kelvin in these problems, okay? So I need to convert the 45 degrees Celsius into Kelvin. And the way we do that is simply by adding 273 and 15 hundredths. And again, in this class, if you skip the 15 hundredths, that's okay. But if I do that, I'm going to get 318 and 15 hundredths Kelvin, okay? And now I'm ready to go ahead and substitute here. So I've got 110,000 times 3.5 divided by 318 and 15 hundredths is equal to 330,000 times 2 divided by temperature 2. And now we can solve this one of two ways. You can simplify the left-hand side and then Simplify the right-hand side and solve, or you can cross-multiply. I'm going to go ahead and just cross-multiply. So 110,000 times 3.5 times T2 is 385,000 times temperature 2. And that is going to be equal to, multiply all these, so 318 and 15 hundredths times 330,000 times 2 gets me 209 million. 979,000. And now I simply need to divide both sides by 385,000. And I get temperature 2 to be 545 and 4 tenths Kelvin. And if I want, I could go ahead and convert that back to Celsius simply by subtracting 273 and 15 hundredths, and in that case I would get 272 and 25 hundredths degrees Celsius, 
The problem just says what's the temperature, doesn't say which units, so either one would be okay.